A local inmate is accused of sending a dangerous delivery to a state police barracks near Harrisburg. Police say this inmate mailed a letter laced with drugs to a trooper. And tonight we're le we've learned that he allegedly did it seeking revenge. Ralph Iannotti is here with details. Ralph. Yeah, thanks very much, Ken. You can't make this stuff up. A guy is serving time in a state prison for reportedly raping two small children. Then sources say the inmate himself was raped while behind bars. Now police say that same inmate who was sexually assaulted has struck out at one of the troopers handling his case. Donovan Lee is behind bars at the State Correctional Institution in Fayette County. Sources say that Lee mailed a K2-laced letter, not only malicious but downright dangerous, to a state trooper who he had previous contact with. The trooper works here at the state police station in Carlisle, near Harrisburg. Sources say Lee was angry with the trooper because he felt the trooper had not fully investigated Lee's claims that he was sexually assaulted by other inmates. A criminal complaint says when the trooper opened the letter from Lee, he began to feel ill and lightheaded and later collapsed while attempting to leave the station. Then the complaint says he passed out en route to the hospital. A second trooper, along with a civilian employee who were both nearby as the letter was being opened, also fell ill and were taken to a hospital for treatment and observation. The incident caused the Carlisle barracks to be partially shut down. It's a chemical uh, that is sold as synthetic marijuana, but in reality it's not that. It, it in, may in some cases interact with the same receptors in the brain as marijuana. Dr. Mitchell West is the medical director of the Allegheny Health Network's Addiction Services. He says K2 is dangerous because you never know what's in it. It's a whole host of chemicals that have been around for about 20 years. Uh, they vary in terms of what they're made of, but oftentimes they're a lot more potent and the effects are a lot more variable. Looking for evidence of K2 and other prison contraband, the State Correctional Institute in Fayette County was searched Friday by state police and a hazardous materials team from Pittsburgh. Sources said investigators believe other inmates are distributing K2 laced paper and they want to track down how Donovan Lee got his hands on it. And tonight, sources say that state police are already taking steps to improve safety as it relates to the way it handles any and all prison-related correspondence. I'm Ralph Iannotti.